Excuse me. Hello, sir. How can I help you? Hi. My name is Tom. I just came to this town a week ago. It sounds silly, but can you show me how can I meet the doctor here? Don't worry, sir. Can you see a ticket printer on the right corner over there? Oh yes. So all I have to do is to pick up my number and wait for my turn, right? Exactly. Right. And what if I want to book an appointment? Who should I contact? You can meet our staff at the receptionist. They will give you the phone number for booking in advance. Hmm. Okay. How about the payment for medicines? After the treatment, you will be given a prescription report. Just come to the pharmacy on the left-hand side. Yeah, right there. You'll pay the bill there. That's very kind of you. No problem, sir. And if you need any help, please meet me at the receptionist. Thanks. And you are? I'm Dolores, and I work as a nurse here, sir. Who is number seven? It's me. Please come to room 505 to meet Dr. Brown, please. Good morning, Dr. Brown. Good morning. May I know your name, please? My name is Tom Holland. Sit down, please. Hmm, you look pale with a hoarse voice, Tom. That's right, doctor. I've got a sore throat for a week. And I also feel a little feverish just this morning. That's why I go to the hospital. Okay, I see. First, I'll have your temperature taken. Your temperature is normal. By the way, have you got a dry and scratchy throat recently? That's exactly my situation now. Whenever I swallow anything, my throat hurts a lot. And I have mild cough sometime. Okay, I'll prescribe medicines for you. Thank you, Dr. Brown. Hello, Dr. Brown. Hello, you must be Mary. I've checked the schedule today, and you made an appointment a week ago. That's right, doctor. Sit down, please. How was your diet? I've listened to your advice and I lost 4 kilograms in 2 weeks. That's a marked improvement in your condition. Well, I'm not coming here for my weight though. What's the matter? I've recently been to the gyms for intensive exercises. But somehow I've got a pain in my shoulders. That's really bad, Mary. Remember that exercises are good for your health but too much of them can cause injury. Yeah, I just want to lose weight as soon as possible. Trust me, Mary, it's a bad idea. You'd better take a few days off, but still maintain your diet balanced. Okay, doctor. I'll take some prescriptions for you ache. Please come in. Hello, doctor. I've made an appointment two days ago. You're Jane, right? What's bringing you to my office today? I don't feel so right. I'm a bit dizzy. Sit down. Breathe deeply, please. Can you describe more clearly? I've just vomited an hour ago, and I feel like it's coming back. Let me examine your stomach. Okay, Jane, I'm afraid an urgent operation is necessary. I'm always ready, doctor. <music> doctor Brown, we have an emergency case. You need to meet this patient first. Let me see. I think I've got a fever, doctor. My head is hot. Her temperature is higher than usual, doctor. Okay, Helen, I'm not gonna hurt you. 
Can you please roll up your sleeves? Okay, doctor. I'm gonna have your blood checked. It won't be hurt. Can you trust me? Sure. Hello. I'm here to take the annual health examination. Okay. Please go to room 404 and wait for your turn. It's on the right-hand side. There. Hello, doctor. Hello. Sit down, please, and I'll examine you. Okay. Can you open your mouth and say A? Good. I'm gonna give you an injection. Okay. Okay. Now let me pulse you. Hmm. Your heart rate is normal. Nothing out of ordinary. Glad to hear that. I've got the worst stomachache. Have you eaten anything strange? Hmm. I had some mushrooms today. Are you allergic to mushrooms? I don't think so. Everything seems fine before. Does it hurt when I touch here? Not really. It's hurt badly on the top left side. Okay, Gerald. You must be hospitalized so that we can find out what is the true problem here. Okay, doctor. I'm always ready. What's troubling you? Everything is all right until my back's hurt like it's killing me. Have you exercised strenuously or played sports recently? No, and I don't have a history of backache. Perhaps your back hasn't been straightened up for a long time, I guess. Oh, I remembered. I had been sitting for hours dealing with my essays from dust till dawn. Now we see the problem but you'll have to be hospitalized for further treatment. Okay, no problem. I've broken my legs, doctor. Okay, let me examine first. Can you show me where it hurts? Right there. It is hurt when I touch this point. Yes, sir. Please be gentle. Okay, I'm going to x-ray your legs to see if anything broken. I'm a little nervous. But that's okay to me. Can you tell me your situation? It feels like someone squeezing my head really hard. And I'm experiencing nausea. How long have you got those symptoms? Just this morning. I still feel like I'm gonna vomit one more time. Do you feel bitter in your throat? Yes, doctor. When I try to eat something, there's no appetite. I'll prescribe medicines for you, and you can go to the pharmacy on the first floor to take them. I'll follow your instruction. I've got insomnia lately. What time do you go to bed? Quite late. I have to meet the deadlines. I only sleep four hours on average. That's terrible, Rachel. Adults need at least six to seven hours for a good sleep. I know but I just have to do a lot of work. Have you got headache? Yeah, and I usually wake up at midnight, then can never be back to my ordinary sleep. I suggest you take some rest, girl. You are gradually shortening your lifespan, you know. Yeah. I'll take a prescription, but remember one thing, you cannot always depend on medicines. I'll listen to your advice, doctor. Remember the operation is on next Monday. Okay, I'll be ready. How long will it take, by the way? Half an hour, I guess. Will there be any after effect? I'm afraid that you will no longer eat seafood after the operation. Okay, it's no big deal to me. That's good. See you soon. Can I meet my wife right now, Dr. Brown? I'm afraid no. What's the matter? How's she now? Is she getting worse? Please calm down, sir. She's okay at the moment. 
She's just under anesthesia. We are going to have surgery tomorrow. Is it a major one? No, it isn't. Just a quick check, don't worry. Okay. If there's anything serious, please announce me, doctor. I have to go now. Trust us, sir. Goodbye. What have bothered you recently? I've been having trouble breathing lately. Can you describe the symptoms to me? <coughs> sure. I've got a dry cough and always in a tiring state. Do you have heavy feeling when you breathe? Oh yeah, just like someone punch into my chest. It's hard to breathe. The COVID-19 symptoms are quite similar to yours. I think you must be hospitalized for further studies. Sounds terrifying. Don't worry. We can handle this.